myself is Suresh having around uh, 9 plus years of experience in IT. I worked on different um, versions of data stage. I started my career with data stage 6.0 and later I moved into 7 and uh, I mean different all versions of uh, data stage. I worked on 8.7 and 9.1 also. In our session, we are going to cover about um, 8.7 with basics of data warehouse. Then we will also start with the ETL tool as well as project related stuff as well. In our session, I am giving today an interactive session about what we are going to cover in our entire. That is, I will start with the data warehouse fundamentals. What is the purpose of data warehouse? What is the architecture of data warehouse? Difference between operational data stores to the data warehouse, data marts versus data warehouse, and data warehousing life cycle. These fundamentals first we are going to discuss. While we are discussing about the fundamentals, we will use some PPTs those PPTs, whatever we are having, okay, we are going to share you. Along with those, we will also use some project related documents to understand the functionality of the data warehouse. These fundamental sessions will take um, three, three to four sessions. Yeah, Once these fundamentals are done, then we will start with the modeling part. While explaining about the modeling, I will use some modeling documents in my project which we worked. I will just um, show you. See some data modeling reports are actually available for uh, conceptual data models. Some, some documents are there as well as some uh, logical data modeling. Even when you go for project also, few modeling documents we will use to explain the modeling information. See this modeling also even it's not the responsibility of data stage developer to work on modeling. We need to know or we need to understand the what is a model. What is the purpose of this modeling and what is this ER modeling and what is this schemas like, I mean, star schema implementation or snowflake schema implementation and what is this, I mean, normalization process, those fundamentals we will discuss first. These two topic, I mean, these two units will cover completely about the fundamentals of data warehouse, whatever we have. Once we are done with the fundamentals, then we will go for the ETL design, mean ETL basics first. What is this ETL? ETL means extraction, transformation and loading. To do this extraction and transformation and loading process means extract the data from various uh, source systems, do all the transformation operations, then finally we are going to load into warehouse. To do this extraction, transformation and loading operations, we are having different tools are available in the market. Those are nothing but ETL tools. In those ETL category tools, some of GA based ETL tools are there, some are code based ETL tools also available. The tool which we are going to discuss in our sessions are data stage that we are going to discuss, we are going to start with the introduction to data stage 8.7 version. We will start with the introductory session and we will go for the one by one. I mean, we will go for the first architecture. What is the IBM information server ar architecture? What are the data stage components are available? What are the data stage main functionalities are available? And what are the client components are there? <laughs> mean, once we install the data stage software in our machines, these kind of components will appear in our system. 
what are these client I mean what are the components we have here these are all client components actually totally 10 client components are available in data stage out of these 10 client components around uh, six components are the one which are belongs to completely user clients these six are belongs to mean these um, eight sorry not six these eight are belongs to completely user clients and the above two are belongs to administrative clients these are belongs to administrator means who are working as a data state administrator role they are going to log into these two and they are going to do some action and if you are working as a developer there are different roles are there you can apply different roles in data stage that is data state developer data state administrator data state quality stage developer information analyzer analyst and business grocery analyst metadata analyzer analyst there are few roles are available but the most been popular roles which we are going to see and most time people are going to access these data stages as a data state developer and data state administrator and quality state developer also and people who are working on quality state developer they only will access the information analyzer and metadata workbench and business glossary as well mostly let me show you what are these uh, client component will do first we will start with the architecture then we'll generally go for the data stage development part see they are all client component right to start these client components or to log into this client components in our machines we need to just check some services are started or not in office machines when you are working these will be these services running or not or these will be take care by our administrators but if we are working on a project as a developer we always need to go for the starting up the services what are the services we need to start in services box okay how to how i open the services means just you need to go for uh, i mean if you have a shortcut it's okay or else in run run mode we can go just go for the services here in the run you can click on a service also and you go for the run here you can type the services or else you can go to the control panel path of your mission in the control panel you can find the services tab here what are the services we need to start mean this ASB agent this is the one agent tab which is going to be application service backbone agent this should be in starter status the set the status of this service should be started this ASB agent is to communicate uh, from data state engine to the other client components that's ASB agent need to be started and DB2 why DB2 means why I need DB2 because in my project we are using Teradata or uh, Oracle or Sybase or something actually DB2 is a repository in data stage as this tool is a IBM one from data stage version 8.1 onwards IBM added repository as a DB2 database DB2 instance simply speaking but in old versions of data stage like 6.0, 7.0, 7.5, 7.5.1 in all those environments those are essential data stage versions those are not a uh, I mean IBM versions. those are essential data stage versions at that time those essential data stage versions um, are having a file based repository essential data stage versions are having a file based repository and our um, IBM versions are having a DB2 based repository that's what we need to start this one also and one more service we need to take that is web obscure application server what is the relationship between data stage to obscure application server when any of the developer designed the code I mean the GI what because we don't have any programming here once any of the developer okay designed any code or something that particular code to move from client mission to the server or a server to the repository those kind of activities there is some software is also required along with data stay we also go to install this software that is IBM WebSphere application server okay that's also should be in starter status okay this is one should be in starter status okay once we start those all the services we can log in into 
these any of the clients. I am first starting with the designer client. Just a minute, I will restart the service. In the meantime, let me explain what topics we will cover. This is going to start. When it comes to data science designer, means development environment. This is nothing but a development environment. What we need to cover in the development environment? Like how to design a data state jobs, what is the concept of parallelism, what is the importance of parallelism, partitioning and collecting techniques of data states. And we are also going to explain about the what is, I mean, job design for you, how to design the jobs. Here, what is the job? I'm using a new technology job, right? A job is nothing but a, an executable component which you are using in data stage, or which you are writing in data stage, simply speaking. That, we are going to run on engines. Data stage engines are there. On the engines, we need to run those jobs. We need to take care about what are the jobs we are having, how to write the jobs how to compile those jobs, how to run those jobs. In data stage, there are different versions of data stage available like uh, different flowers are there, data stage server jobs, parallel jobs, mainframe jobs. We are going to start discussing about the parallel job because most of our clients are using now parallel job versions only, especially IBM is also scoping this, uh, their uh, support for older versions of data stage, that's the reason most of clients are migrating into latest version of data stack with parallel jobs. That is the reason we need to have a working knowledge on the parallel jobs and parallel processing environments. These are all the internal stages of data stage, like uh, working with the parallel job, file stages, processing stages, debugging. For example, once you develop some jobs, how to do debugging and XML processing. And okay, we are going to write some kind of C, C++ programs also. What is the kind of program we are going to write? How to write those programs? How to call C? Even though we are writing some C++ program, programs that we are going to write outside data stage, that we are going to call into data stage as a concept called routine. Means in data stage we are going to have some routines are there. Those routines are nothing but the C++ uh, programs or basic language programs. Those programs we are going to write outside and we are going to call into data stage environment and some advanced stages of data stage 8.7 we'll also discuss and then we'll also go for few information about administrator as well let me start okay it will start just to log in it will take one minute for validation Okay, we will uh, discuss about the, these all things in development part. Development part itself will take two days to discuss. Then we will go for this director. What is this director? See, I am just showing you. This is a data state designer environment. In data state designer environment, when I log in, I mean, I am going to have a mainframe jobs, parallel jobs, sequence job, and server job. These are the flowers, mean, internal flowers of data stage. But most popular one nowadays we are using in most of our uh, clients are parallel jobs and sequence jobs is mandatory. The server jobs is the older versions of data stage most of people are using in, at the time of uh, developing uh, projects. But now they are not using because the server jobs will execute sequentially. But few projects which are developed okay, years back, they are still running on server jobs environment only. There is a separate flower we have that is mainframe jobs. That mainframe version of job we are going to use for mainframe processing, mainframe data processing. If source is mainframe and target is mainframe, then we are going to use mainframe jobs. Otherwise, if source is mainframe and we want to load the data into target warehouse, then no need to separately go for mainframe. We can go for parallel jobs also. Okay. Now, I'm just selecting parallel jobs. Show you. Just a second. 